Hello, welcome to Cooking with Bro. I'm Brother Hans, um, Hans Moran. I'm from the Brother's Kitchen in Las De La Salipa. Um, for all of my bloggers out there, hi, it's me. I'm in the flesh, finally. And for all of my followers in Lipa, hello also. Um, you're seeing me in flesh, finally doing what I really, what I write about. Okay. Um, today, I have a special uh, group of people to help me. These are the contacts of Della Salo Zobel, and I'd like you guys to introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm Edzu. I'm Lorenzo. I'm Carlo. Okay, uh, today we'll be making some chocolate chip cookies. I've developed the recipe over the past, oh, maybe 30 years or so. I've been baking uh, chocolate chip cookies ever since I was six or eight, seven, somewhere there. Okay. Um, so this time I'm going to be, I'm going to ask our contacts to help us out. So, um, who gets to mix? Mix. Okay, you mix. Before we go, anything. Um, remember, I was talking about Sesame Street earlier, and what did I say? First in Sesame Street, they, when I was a little boy, they taught me how to bake very well. First thing they said was, mix the, mix all the wet ingredients. So first thing we do is we get the butter. Um, I normally like to slice up the butter a bit so it's easier to mix. Um, this is a small technique that I learned ever since I was small. I used to have difficulty uh, mixing it when I was a small boy. So I learned that this is an easier way to mix the butter. And one of the things you want to do with the butter is you want it cream. Best of all, if we can try to um, have the butter at room temperature, okay? So first thing is you put the butter in the mixing bowl, okay? And can you beat a bit? Uh, while he's doing that, why don't you break the eggs? <laughs> <laughs> you can put it in the bowl. Here. Here? Yes. Just make sure there's no shell. It's always best to break the egg into the bowl, before, not into the mixture itself, so that at least you, have, you know that if there's a shell or not. Okay? So, you can do it. There you go. See? You've been practicing. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can I borrow the mixer, please? Okay. So, now, okay, let's get this out of them. So, normally when you the butter, this is nicely. You want it to have it as creamy as possible. Okay. So you cream the butter and make sure it's soft enough. I already have pre-mixed everything else. So can you hold? Uh, first thing we add to the uh, mixture is the sugars. Okay. We mix, normally it's uh, one half cup uh, white sugar and one and a half cups uh, firmly packed brown sugar. So, but uh, I pre-mixed it in the house so we can add it slowly into the mixture. Okay. You want to mix it up a bit? Okay, there you go. Add a bit more. You can do it. Add a bit more. Okay. You might want to make it a bit softer. There. Okay, now we add the eggs. Two eggs. One at a time. So he's gonna Yeah, there you go. You'll notice that the batter becomes a bit more creamy. Okay, go ahead. 
There you go. Do you have any questions? Um, so brother, what inspired you to reach this call? Uh, calling for baking or calling for... Uh, for baking. <laughs> the brothers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, uh, when I decided to become a brother, I was around your age, uh, fourth year, high school, third year. Um, gee, <laughs> I don't remember. Um, I thought the guys were cool. I liked the, their, the brotherhood. I liked the brothers, the way they interacted. Um, I've always been religious ever since I was young. Okay. And, uh, yeah, there was no, for me, my uncle suggests with priest, but one thing I liked about the brothers was there was no hierarchy. The old younger brothers were joking and teasing the older brothers. I liked it so much. I, I don't see that in uh, other congregations as much. Okay, now we add vanilla. And my rule of thumb when it comes to vanilla is whatever the recipe says, place a bit more. Um, I don't know, with Aryan, whenever I, you know, with Brother Aryan, whenever I place more, vin uh, more vanilla, somehow he comes in and finishes everything. Okay. I normally make a lot of bread. Okay. Uh, bread builds community. The brothers would say, oh, do you want me to slice you a slice of bread? They'll slice the bread for each other. But cookies, these cookies, always destroys community, especially with Brother Aryan. They start fighting with everybody. Okay. Um, this is uh, flour, two and a half cups flour, um, pre-sifted um, pre already. Uh, I added also two tablespoons of baking powder, two tablespoons, ah, sorry, two teaspoons of baking powder, two teaspoons of um, baking soda, and about three-fourths uh, teaspoon of salt. Okay, you want to add this slowly. Okay. It looks like a caramel syrup or something. <laughs> That's because of the brown sugar. Okay. Slowly, you can know. Move it a bit more. Yes. Okay. Don't be shy. A bit more. Okay. 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 Is this the first time you guys are making cookies? Yes. <laughs> I used to make it for the soccer team when I was young. <laughs> I've been feeding the brothers ever since I was in high school. I'd make cookies in the house and bring it over to the brothers' house. That's to make up for when I was in grade school. When I was in grade school, the brothers' house in Lasalle Green Hills, I would uh, sneak in the back and steal the soft drinks. <laughs> okay. The machine seems like it's having a harder time. So, what we do is keep this to the side. And now we use muscle power. Okay. Yes, there. Okay, you can add it more. Okay. Another ingredient I add actually to my cook um, chocolate chip cookies. Um, I come from a family of bakers and cooks. Um, my aunt, she's a food, very good cook. Um, my mother was a very good cook. Um, my brother runs restaurants. My, sis, my niece also makes her own. She's now a chef. Um, I'm a lowly baker. Uh, <laughs> I never really went to school. but. One of the tricks she said, you know, I have my, my aunt, she goes, I have this secret to my chocolate chip cookies. I go, um, really? And I said, I have my secret too. <laughs> and my, my niece who runs a restaurant, Italian mm -hmm. restaurant, says, I have mine also. And all of a sudden I said, I had oatmeal. Yeah, that's our secret too. <laughs> <laughs> so it's everybody's secret, that's not a secret. Um, I normally add one cup of oatmeal cook, uh, oatmeal I use instant the reason I use instant is because instant oatmeal tends to have it's thinner 
Uh, so it's uh, it, the the oatmeal itself is thinner, so it's easily more uh, easily incorporated. So maybe I should call this my chocolate chip oatmeal cookies. I think. But um, uh, I found out it's just a lot easier uh, when I use pure flour. I have to actually uh, put it in the refrigerator for about an hour or two after I mix everything uh, because the dough would be too wet. So the oatmeal just gives it a lot more easier texture. After that, this is a combination of cashew kasoy together with walnuts. Okay. Um, I normally use a lot. That's why people like my, uh, my, my mixture. If you watch uh, cooking shows, you'll always say you're supposed to fix up, you know, and make sure everything is neat and clean. So, yeah, I try as much as I can. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And of course, the last one is I use chocolate chips. You want to add it? Okay. Uh, I tend to like the brand which is the Van Houten. Um, if you can find it in any grocery, the Van Houten, I don't know why. It has a special flavor. Um, if not, you can always use the other types. Um, when I was small and we were like, making the pizza bahay in the house, uh, we would use, I would actually use Antonio Pueyo, the one you buy in the playa without the sugar. Then I would chop it up into bits, and then I would add it in. Uh, it gives a bit of saltier flavor, uh, more rustic. Okay, but of course now, medyo the green social na tayong lahat sa ano, sa buhay. And so I use. Um, we can now we're now using the imported. <laughs> so the Van Houten actually is good. The but this one is um, the Tall House. Uh, chocolate chips, which is equally as good. During Christmas, I use the same batter and I normally add, um, after forming the cookies, I normally add uh, uh, M&M's on top. So it becomes an M&M &M chocolate chip oatmeal cookie. Wow! <laughs> and it just looks a lot nicer. You know, it looks so festive, so everything. And um, I used to make it a lot for the Bahay Pag-asa kids in Bacolod. Um, these are children. Have you ever heard of Bahay Pagasa? These are children who are in conflict with the law. And they're there. Um, it's to start by Brother Gus. Uh, Christmas time is a wonderful time for me. I love baking. So uh, we would go there. One year we made a uh, gingerbread house. <laughs> and we made it and, you know, with gingerbread brothers. You know? <laughs> and we bring it there to Bahay Pagasa for the kids to eat. Then, one Christmas, the guys would always say, Brother, where are your cookies? We want their cookies. So, I, then from then on, I'd always make cookies for them for Christmas. Now, of course, sometimes cakes and that's it, other things. Okay? Do you guys know how to put the cookies on the cookie sheet? Uh, I'll show you once no. and then you can do it. Um, I prefer the old way of doing things. Uh, I use two spoons or two teaspoons. These are very small. Okay. Uh, we'll come up with a nice smaller type of cookie. Uh, if you want, you can also make a bigger type of cookie. You can use a tablespoon. Okay. And but of course, the, you have to adjust the cooking time. Um, you get a spoonful or a teaspoonful. It's simply this way, and you put it down that way. Very oh. fast and easy. Go this way. Yep, it's that easy. easy. So what I normally do for a pan this size, I would put it as four in a row. Once I finish the row, then I would make it five. Especially this size. These are nice. Um, this kind of size of cookie would normally come out with a bit of crunch. It will be a bit crunchy, a bit good. This will be able to cook thoroughly through. But if I make it normally with a tablespoon, I would only make it around, let's say, 
um, three per row and only four. Okay, that would come out nicer, bigger. The cookie would be now, now chewier and um, it would be what? Um, nice and soft in the center. Okay, and chewy. You wanna try? One. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Brother, what was the reaction of your parents when you wanted to be a brother? Me? Um, they actually had none. Uh, I was hanging out with the brothers so much. I was going out of town with them. Uh, and uh, before I became a brother, my sister became a, uh, a Teresana. Okay, she's not really a sister. It, it's just like we're not really priests. She's not really a sister. And so it, it paved the way for me to become a brother. So they had no problem at all. I guess plus the fact that I'm the youngest. <laughs> Normally after I finish putting it in the pan, I crimp the sides. Okay, just press the sides a bit inward. Okay, so it comes out to a, a nice circular thing rather than awkward shape. This will help in the baking also process. And uh, one of the things my mother did teach me, she used to make the chocolate chip cookies for Red Ribbon a long time ago. Uh, one of the things she did teach me was um, crimp only on the sides of the cookie, not on the top. If you crimp the one on the top, what happens is it looks too processed. So it looks like one of those factory made things that you can buy, you know, uh, it comes out like uh, uh, what's Chips Ahoy. It's so commercialized and so, yeah. okay. This, okay. This will come out with a bit of more imperfections and that's what you want. The more, the, the ones with imperfection look like they're home baked and that's what you really want, okay. And everyone likes something that's nicely baked and home baked. Something that's commercial, you know, something that's bought. There's some in the house. Okay, so this would be um, this would be a tray. We'd be able now to put this into their oven, uh, 350 degrees preheated oven. Um, around 10 minutes, 10 to 11 minutes. Uh, you let it out. Uh, I normally leave it in the pan for about five minutes after it comes out. And then I take it out and I let it um, cool off in a cookie rack. Okay. Uh, so we'll see you in a while. I'll just put this in the oven. Okay, um, remember it's a preheated oven, 350 degrees, and we'll put this in the oven for 10 minutes, okay? Can you smell that? Oh my god, I can smell it. It smells really good. Oh my god. This is the smell Brother Aryan and Brother Rich really like. Okay, we leave it out for about five minutes and let's let it cool and then I'll bring it over to the spirals. Okay, see you in a while. Hey, welcome back. Uh, here I am again, once again, with our contacts. And so, guys, you want to try some of my cookies? Sure, <laughs> of course. Of course. <laughs> it's good. Yeah. I want to try it. <laughs> of course not. I want to get one. The poor camera guys look at me so bad right now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Anything else you guys want to know? You have any questions? Did you have a girlfriend before you became a brother? Yeah, I did. Uh, How did she handle the... Uh, you want me to tell you the truth or you want to tell me a lie? <laughs> the truth. She didn't handle it too well, actually. Uh, yeah, I brought her to... Uh, I had an interesting dinner with her. 
brother to it. It's the intercon during the time. Um, we had a nice dinner or two lunch. And it was really sweet, very romantic. And then I said, I have to become a brother. I have to try it out. <laughs> the poor girl, she was devastated. <laughs> So anyway, yeah, she's now married, she has children, um, her son is now going in, uh, she's, uh, her son is in, I think, DLSU, he's a Paul Volcker, okay, uh, yeah, wonderful time. Do you have any other questions? Do you enjoy being a brother? Oh, always. Yes, really. I enjoy being a brother a lot. Watching the kids grow, um, seeing how they develop, is wonderful. Um, watching them reach their dreams and knowing that you're part of that is really something. Remember when we went with uh, uh, when we met the 9 I class? Okay. Um, to watch the, the kids' eyes light up and go for their dreams and you know that somehow you were a part of that makes a wonderful difference. No regrets about it. Okay. Anything else? Well, so I think that's it for today. Uh, thank you once again from Alabang. It's Cooking with Bro. I'm Brother Hans from the Brother's Kitchen. See you.